nobody kiss it like you don't nobody kiss it like you bang 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 what's good t squad it's me keisha and i'm here with a new spill the tea video first off i want to say thank you to each and every one of you who watched and supported my video that i did a few days ago on safari exposing his ex-wife erica minna for her exclusive and violent erratic behavior thank you to each and every one of you who watched and supported that video well today i'm here with a follow-up since then erica minna has responded with her own claims and video footage and safari has done another video stating what he wants moving forward so let's get into what erica had to say about the video that safari did on his youtube channel erica posted on her story all my home footage is wow alone just in may of you trying to get into my house and begging for me to take you back will shut down everything you just try to put out on me i'm getting advice from my lawyer not to because it's better for the courts but if you want to take it there we can then she says if you want to do a whole video trying to make me seem like i'm the only problem please make sure you add in that just this past may you were in my home once again trying to so-called get your family back and if you want to take it there which i'd rather kind of not and just save it for the courts i have you in my ring camera begging to get into my house this very same week on numerous occasions please don't make me take it there and post all my home videos of you begging on your knees for me to take you back in front of our kids because you know i would but see my thing with that is we know erica if erica really had that footage she would show it she would show it and nowhere did she address her behavior in all of this she skipped past that and wants to go to you were begging to get your family back you were begging on your knees and all of this stuff if like i said if she had that type of footage she would have shown it she doesn't have it that's why she didn't show anything and him begging on his knees to get his family back quote unquote does not take away the fact that you were over there tearing up this man's house hitting him having your children walk over glass jumping over his gate pounding on the the door sending naked photographs of him to his family like miss girl let's address that <laughs> like that's the bigger issue here my love not all of that he supposedly was begging you to be back with him what are you talking about you sound just as crazy as you looked in those videos and it didn't stop there she then posted this all happened in 2023 this so-called restraining order he's talking about he tried to get was in 2024 and very out the blue and that was after his attempt to try and get back with me in may 2024 the sick part about it is the video he's posting was all in 2023 the one of me being in enraged was because he violated my body what um that video clearly showed that it was in 2024 but it doesn't even matter if it was 2023 2024 two, 2002 you did it but anywho she says i wanted answers on why he would put my health in jeopardy but he's not admitting that part he's also not admitting that he had to drop his fake restraining order attempt because of all the evidence i had which i have not posted yet was in my home begging me in front of our kids on his knees literally in front of our kids to take him back that evidence proof alone would have caused him losing the entire thing see her thing is always about him wanting to be with her ma'am if he wanted to be with you he would have stayed married to you he divorced you for a reason like i'm so confused with her responses to all of this like mental health is a real thing erica and she needs help like what 
Then she says this newfound YouTuber using kids and both its exes you have violated, gaslit and provoked to the ugliest end for YouTube views. Now she's trying to bring in Nikki and that whole situation. Like, girl, the world told you not to get with that man. When you got with him, you ignored the signs. He ignored the signs about you. Child, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. And you need more people, ma'am. Okay? Then after that... Then she finally decided to show some sort of video footage of her own. Let's take a look at this video where she's having a conversation with their daughter, Sapphire Majesty, about Safari allegedly kicking um, his son, Legend. What do you do? When you was with daddy? Yeah. Really? I saw him the so long. I saw my daddy kick him and fall off. And who fell off? My And I was watching him while I fall off. And did daddy, why, why did daddy kick him? Because he got boo-boo. Who got, Leggy got a boo-boo? Wow. And this was in daddy's house? Wow. Yes, that's not my daddy's, that's not my brother's father. That's not your brother's father? Who said that? Daddy. Daddy? I don't know if it's just me, but it seemed like the little girl was being coached to say that. So I just don't believe that Safari would be over there kicking that little boy and saying that that's not my son. First of all, the little girl said that's not my brother's father. <laughs> who girl that's something that her mama said <laughs> like what and if you paid attention at first she said that's not my daddy then she said that's not my brother's father like what and then she said who did he kick she said maji first of all that's her nickname they call her maji and then they call legend leggy so uh-uh that sound a bit fishy to me and then it goes back to the He's not around. He never gets the kids. He's not a present father. If he was over there kicking and hitting on your son in this way, why would you want him around him? It doesn't make sense, Erica. <laughs> like, no, I don't believe that one. You need more people. Uh-uh. I'm sorry. I just don't. I just do not believe that. I'm sorry. I don't. And for whatever reason, after that, she then came back with this statement. She came back and said, I find myself in a state of deep astonishment and sorrow that our situation has deteriorated to this point. It's truly heartbreaking to realize how far we've come. Every situation is ultimately tied to a cause which inevitably leads to effects. Nonetheless, it is crucial that I put an end to this turmoil. I am committed to taking the initiative to stop this and I would and I believe it would be beneficial for both parties to do so. Our children are the center of my world and the lights of my life. I am determined to rely on the justice system to navigate these proceedings, trusting that it will guide us towards a fair and just resolution. We are blessed with two beautiful children who deserve a stable and nurturing environment. As I move forward, I will continue to prioritize their long-term well-being and future happiness, Erica Mena. Now, somebody else wrote that for her. Either a publicist or a lawyer. She did not write that child. Because all of a sudden now you got this come to Jesus that you just want to be peaceful and let the courts decide and all of this, that, and the third. Girl, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I won't deny it. I'm a straight rider. You don't want to with me safari must have had to come to jesus too because he then came back with this video on his instagram where he said today i'm gonna run down for you how my day went um because i woke up and it was almost 
You know, like when it's your birthday and you get a hundred texts, a hundred calls, and it's like that. That's how my phone was today, and um, you know, it's just it's just so crazy to me how people just love pasa pasa. They love the gossip, you know what I'm saying? And um, people who don't know me, they'll be like, oh, Safari, you messy. But anyone who really does know me, they know like, I don't like, I don't like that kind of attention. Um, <clears throat> me expressing myself is, is, there's no clout involved. I, I'm not getting clout. Um, I'm not trying to set up a clickbait, you know, there's a situation at hand and I spoke about it and really and truly, I, I don't like speaking about it. There are a lot of people and there's a lot of times I've been in a situation and things happen and people say, yo, why don't you ever say anything? Because I'm not that kind of a person. I don't thrive off of drama. Um, contrary to belief I am I feel like I'm happy you know I go through what I go through you know but I live in America and as a black man we got to just take it on the chin because there are you know I'm not saying everybody doesn't care but there are some people who do care and you know I know who's genuine I know when it's coming from a genuine place and you know me doing that video that wasn't to bash anybody because I'm I'm just not like that I don't I don't I don't like that it's just hey look it's a B is black and white and that's that um, like I'm a I'm a real man I don't I don't want to like I don't want to put my <clears throat> business on Front Street. What you've seen on Love and Hip Hop for the past few years is, it's very, it's enhanced, you know? And it's entertainment, it's a show. And I'm talking about from 10 years ago to five years ago. It, it may look like, hey, this is what you're seeing, but at the end of the day, I'm on a camera and it's a job. But this right here, you know, like I said before, I'm not filming. This is real life. And <clears throat> I don't want to go tit for tat. I don't want to try to embarrass anybody. I want to just be at a place where when it's time for me to see my kids or us come up with some sort of a schedule that this schedule is set in place um nobody wants to create life and bring it into this world and it's bad enough this world already is screwed up enough as it is nobody wants to create life bring it into this messed up world and then just have more things going on that shouldn't be going on that could be avoided, you know? Um. The video was longer than that, but you can head over to his YouTube channel to see the rest of it. I just hope moving forward after this, they leave us out of the group chat, okay? I hope that they do handle it in court. Hopefully they can keep it out of court and just do a mediation because the main thing is the safety and the well-being and the happiness and the security and the support of those children. They are the ones that's going to suffer the most out of this. Both of them need to grow up. Both of them just need to co-parent. Safari so need to stop sleeping with that woman and leading her on to think that it's going to be more than what it is. It's obvious that she is still very much in love with him and wants to be a family with him. And he goes back and forth. I believe her and, and, and in the instance of that, he probably does tell her that he wants to be back with her or whatever when it suits him. And that's not fair to her. But it's also not fair to him nor their children for her to be acting out 
that way. She needs to learn how to control her emotions because she's going to raise kids to think that acting out aggressively like that is okay. And it's not, it's simply not, but they both need to grow up and be parents to these kids because it's obvious that they cannot be together in a relationship. A mess. But y'all let me know what y'all think about all this. Do y'all believe anything that Erica said? What do you think about the video she showed of Maji saying that Safari was kicking legend and all of this stuff? I can't wait to read what you guys think. Please make sure to thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your post notifications so you know my videos drop. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.